Stephen, this is the quick run through and some of the features that, that you were interested in for SureTrack. First one is zooming in and out. We can zoom out to that level of detail. Then you can actually check your zoom settings and if I wanted to go to 200%, get nice and big like this. So the second thing is that only if I hover directly on the task can I drag a duration in SureTrack. If it's in the general area, my cursor turns into the pitchfork, as everyone calls it, and that is how you drag relationship lines. It doesn't have the same snapping feature that Synchro does, which I do prefer Synchro in that sense, that you know that you're snapped to this task. So if I'm dragging task 1 finish to task 2 start, it brings up this dialog box that says finish to start this successor activity, and I can put in a lag of 2 days. Notice the mouse wheel scroll didn't, didn't work there. Um, so that's, man, for manually creating links, I definitely do prefer SureTrack. Um, this is one that was created without any logic. If I wanted to delete this logic, I can click the magnifying glass, notice how it turns into a magnifying glass as I hover over, I know I'm selecting that link, and here I can just delete that relationship, and the task pops back into place. Now as far as constraints go, if I drag this task out to the right, it's going to ask me if I want to apply a logic constraint. And if I hit OK, then notice an asterisk pops up right here. I can modify this by holding Control and hovering over tasks. That gives me the hammer and pin. So we have an early, a start constraint and a finish constraint that we can, we can modify here. If I want to remove my finish constraint, I can do that. And if I remove my start constraint, see how they're both, these are both have asterisks here. If I remove, no, it's also just the finish constraint. One asterisk goes away. And if I remove my start constraint, the entire task is going to pop back to the beginning. Um, some pretty handy stuff there. Now, you asked if we could apply actual starts and finishes. That's it's definitely doable to do that kind of a thing. Um, just to have the age show up here, I'm, I'm selecting all the tasks, and as I move this data date selection, everything is highlighted that's going to be affected by that schedule change. Uh, I'm just going to change one of the durations here on this guy, so that we can go to Tools, Update Progress, and we want to update the, the progress within this period. So this task has been started and finished, so we have an A for the early start and the early finish. And this one only has an A for the early start because it hasn't been finished yet. As you can see, this, is, this still has green on it. Um, yeah, you can have a separate column, but people don't like to have 27 columns that fill up the left-hand side of the screen. It, it's, it's a lot simpler to get the information that you can have right here. I think we the easiest way to do that is just with a pretty quick toggle toggle button, especially if you can save your layouts, um, it would make it, make it really easy and handy for people. That's all I got for now, man. Hope you're doing well.